was towed and I want to go as far out over the lake as I can and get into a clear area or as clear area as I can. Got a good one, pretty decent. There we go. Whoop, you good? Yeah. Oh, shit. There you go. Huh? So I'm using the sleeper gill again. I want to throw it as close to the bank and close to structure as I can. So I'm doing that. But I also want to throw as far as I can to cover as much water as I can. There goes one. A little bitty dink. That's all that's here, man. Small ones, dude. I've probably already caught you twice already. I don't even have my phone with me, so. There you go. So I'm back throwing the buzz toad, and we're over here on the side where I caught the last fish in the previous video. We're just hitting them, so I'm just gonna go ahead and continue to throw them over there at that leaf bed and draw them. There you go. There you go. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. the belly on that fish for this time of the year. Oh my god. How big do you think it is? You got I got scales in my I got one. Uh, 4.2 <laughs> That's a big boy, son. That's a big one, You want to take a picture of it? Yeah, yeah, sure. Definitely. Where'd you hook it? Right up there. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like a whole different fish. There you go. Got it right there. Nice. That's beautiful, bro. You know. Like I said before, you want to throw as far as possible, especially when you're in a kayak or a boat, where you're going to be making noise when you come up. Oh, he's a good one. It's now time for the Tatted Werewolves Tip of the Week. Hello fellow bass boys and bass girls. We're going to go over the polymore knot. I know I've been over this with you in a prior video, but I feel like I'm better equipped with visible line and a bigger hook this time. So I'm going to show you where you can actually see it. So you're going to take your line and you're going to run it through the eyelet of the hook. You want to pull enough line to where you have plenty because you're going to need to run a loop around the hook so then you're going to take your line and you're going to run it back the same eye the opposite direction you're left with this right here a hoop and your tag and your main line on this side at that point you're going to take and tie 
this end but you want to stick your finger in that loop that you create right here and you want to make enough to where you're going to go around this hook you can take your finger out and when you get to that point right here you're going to moisten it and then pull tight on both lines and then you're going to pull tight on your tag end cut your tag in and you're left with your polymer knot hello fellow bass boys and bass girls it's me chris from georgia bass boys i hope you enjoyed the video and if you did hit the subscribe button and drop us a comment and hit the like button if you want to be notified of future uploads hit the bell and you'll be notified of our upcoming videos y'all have a great evening and we'll see you next time